afternoon when the pilot reported engine problems. He was forced to put the plane down in that field in Crestkill, right next to a community pool. But police say that was not his first choice. They were actually going to try and make it to the Hudson River where there, from what I'm told, there were units standing by in case they landed in the river. Unfortunately, they fell short. The guy did an incredible job because he somehow kept it airborne, cleared the tall trees over at the pool, and then banked it into the field over here, which was the only place he could have possibly put it down. I mean, you, you know what we're dealing with here. Boy, skillful piloting there. The plane came down just an hour before kids were scheduled to use that soccer field. The two crew members aboard were taken to a hospital. They are expected to recover from their injuries. All right, a topless painting, painted lady, Desnudas, and her handler are facing several charges because she wanted to get Desnudas, apparently, uh, inappropriately, um, allegedly. She was arrested uh, for trying to sell sex and drugs to an undercover cop. The arrests are adding fuel to the debate over the so-called desnudas in Times Square. Fox 5's Liz Dahlem live there with more this morning. Liz, good hey, morning Liz. to you. Good morning, Robert and Juliet. These NYPD undercover officers started a conversation with this topless painted woman over on 42nd and 7th Avenue, and they quickly realized she was offering up much more than just a picture for tips. One of the painted ladies from Times Square was arrested Wednesday night. Destiny Romero is accused of selling drugs and offering to perform oral sex to undercover police officers. The 20-year-old introduced the cops to her handler, Jason Perez, who promised to meet them at the Lexington Hotel. There, the couple sold the officers cocaine, molly pills, and Romero agreed to perform oral sex. The two were arrested. Romero was charged with three counts of prostitution and drug possession. 22-year-old Perez is accused of promoting prostitution and criminal possession of a controlled substance, among other charges. The painted ladies have been a controversial topic of discussion in Times Square, reminding many of its once seedy past. Police Commissioner Bratton suggested tearing up the plaza to stop the activity, but Mayor de Blasio created a special task force to figure out how to get the women out. But they aren't breaking the law. Toplessness is allowed in New York. The mayor had this to say last month. You will see changes, some of them starting quite soon. This task force has been in place now for a few weeks, and it's still unclear exactly what it's doing to fix the problem. Meanwhile, we should mention a South Carolina businessman was in front of a judge just yesterday after allegedly attacking one of these topless women and accusing her of being a pickpocket. We're live from Times Square this morning. Robert and Juliet, back over to you. Liz, thank you very much. Thanks, Lizzie. So Rutgers University has uh, had some troubles over recent years, mm -hmm. and they continue more trouble for the football team this time. Five players have been suspended after being accused of violent crimes. This is a really crazy story. And the timing here really is not good because the season is about to start. One player was charged in two home invasions. Four others were charged with assaulting a group of people in New Brunswick in April. This comes as the Scarlet Knights, as I mentioned, prepare to open the season tomorrow against Norfolk State. At the same time as all this, Coach Kyle Flood is being investigated for potentially violating NCAA rules by inquiring about a student's academic status. Some students remain hopeful that the bad press will not affect tomorrow's game. I'm definitely concerned about the season, but hopefully we'll do okay. That sort of scares me, uh, especially because uh, some of the classes I take are at night. A statement released by Rutgers Athletic Director Julie Herman says this, the players have been suspended from the program indefinitely. We will have no further comment as this is a pending legal matter. It is 6:10. Plenty more coming up. Yes, and uh, Mike is watching the forecast for us. Looks beautiful. Sure, looks great. We got a lot of sunshine coming at you here, though there's a chance that you're going to see a few isolated showers later on this afternoon. We've got a cold front that's dropping through here. It's kind of changing things up even as we speak, but for now we actually have mainly clear skies, but there will be some clouds in the afternoon with small potential for a quick little shower. High temps are going to be considerably cooler. Uh, we're starting off at 77, only ending up in the low 80s. We have a live interactive radar that you can check out when there are showers in the area. It's on the Fox 5 NY weather app. You just download it for free at the Apple iTunes store and Google Play store. Search Fox 5 NY weather and you'll be all set to go. We'll be right back. The Fox 5 NY weather app brought to you by Dunkin Donuts. America runs on Dunkin.
A wave of game day excitement is rolling into Dunkin'. Taste the new Tailgater breakfast sandwich stacked with smoked sausage, fire roasted peppers and onions. America runs on Dunkin'. Why would I go with boring when Bassett gives me great colorful options, all customized to match my style? Bassett's Labor Day sale ends Monday. Hurry in and save 25% store wide. There's nothing boring about Bassett. Good morning. Morning. No, 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 no. WeatherTech floor liners are created to be the ultimate vehicle floor protection in the world. Designed with channels to catch and hold spills until you wash them away. Go to WeatherTech.com and order your perfect fit floor liners today. The most advanced floor protection for your vehicle is at WeatherTech.com. Stay in there. Old fashioned vitamins are out. Thigh diffusion for women is in. Support for energy metabolism and strong bones is always in style. It's essential nutrition women need infused with natural flavors. That's Vitafusion. It's going to be a good day with Vitafusion Women's. Get a good look. Because this is the last you'll see of the 2015 Nissans. Now's your final opportunity this summer to get holiday bonus cash on the last of this year's models during Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. For a limited time on select models, get up to 1,000 holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers. Bonus cash ends soon. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. Nissan, innovation that excites. Why would I go with boring when Bassett gives me great colorful options, all customized to match my style? Bassett's Labor Day sale ends Monday. Hurry in and save 25% store wide. There's nothing boring about Bassett. Jimmy has always enjoyed the carefree life. Say, Jimmy! Jimmy! Until now. I'm your son. This is your granddaughter. Congratulations. I'm a grand? I'm a grand? Sounds like you need some time to process this. Grandfather. Premiere September 29th at 8. That is your father's answering machine from college. You've reached Phil's world. Party time. Excellent. Swing. Modern Family. Tonight starting at 7 on Fox 5. Yeah, I think so too. Hi. Welcome back. Hi. Hi. Um, let's go to Mike for a check of the weather. It's, I've, got, I've got some boating plans on Saturday. Oh, do you? Sounds like a good day to do it. It is going to be fantastic mm -hmm. for uh, boating and everything. Also, tailgating. A lot of folks are asking about oh, the yeah, mm -hmm. Rutgers True. tailgating. Right, right, right. A plus, A plus weather all the way around. So uh, everybody wins. Winner, Yay. winners. All right, but uh, this morning, got to get you out the door here. A lot of folks are, a lot of kids are back to school. So here's your bus stop forecast here. You got partly sunny sky out there. Uh, it's not as muggy. Uh, there could be a stray shower, but that's later in the day. Not right now. Just so you know, we've got dry conditions out there now. Morning temperature, 76 but we'll get up into the lower 80s later on. Right now we've got 77 degrees out at Central Park and throughout the Northeast things look on the uh, mild side here locally but as you look up to the Northwest I mean it's not a big surprise that your temps are a lot cooler but the thing is a lot of that cooler air is going to head down this way and that's what will be knocking our temperatures down a decent amount. So we at this point have partly cloudy to mainly clear skies. No showers to worry about here on the radar and satellite. Do we have a threat? Yes, but it's small. Here's the front that's dropping down to the south and it's pulling in the drier air. But the future cast still wants to bring us a little bit of action here. See with the uh, cool air that's coming in, it runs up against the warm, humid air later this afternoon and into this evening. The lower Hudson Valley, northern New Jersey, you might get a quick little shower, but that should be about it. And after that, we've got uh, cooler, drier air that really sets up shot over us here uh, later today into tomorrow. And even Sunday is still not too bad, but then we are going to see the warmer temps making a comeback early in the next work week here. But the uh, holiday weekend looks fantastic. So if you're heading out to the beaches, uh, we've got the northeast winds coming through here today at around 10 to 20 knots. Uh, water temperatures around 74 to 78 degrees, but there is a high risk of rip currents today. So keep that in mind. Uh, keep an eye on folks out there, especially the little ones. Sometimes it catches them off guard. You don't want to uh, have anything going on out there. Partly sunny skies today with an isolated shower possible. High temp in the city up to 80. 82 degrees. Uh, clearing skies for you tonight. Tonight, nice and comfortable. Lows dropping down between 58 and 64. And as we go through the next seven days, got a high of 82 today, 81 tomorrow, 85 on Sunday, and back up to 88 for you on Labor Day itself. And the humidity is making a comeback along with the possibility of a high of 90 again on Tuesday. Let's bring in Inez Rosales. At least she got a little attitude over here. I don't know what she's not happy about, but. Um, we'll talk later. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll talk later. Let's not talk about this right now because you know what? We might get
we have a lot of problems on the road. 78 westbound, watch out for an accident by exit 18. That's blocking a lane. Staten Island Expressway jammed this morning coming off the Gothels Bridge and the West Shore eastbound. There's construction going on by Victory Boulevard. This has been going on the last couple of weeks. Let's go to our cameras, take a look at your commute. In the Bronx, traffic jammed on the Cross Bronx, and this is affecting the George Washington Bridge. So all this activity, this is westbound over by White Plains Road. On occasion, they've been closing the roadway. Right now, you have only one lane open on the, this is eastbound. On the westbound side, some stop and go, some rubbernecking delays, but let me show you how far this delay goes. Let's go to the George Washington Bridge camera. On the upper level, traffic barely moving because of that accident, so use the lower level. Right now, no delays approaching with the approaches. It's just minor on the upper level, but the lower level, that's the best option. Lincoln and Holland, no problems there. Robert and Juliet, back to you. Thank you. Inez, thank you. All right. New England Patriots quarterback <sighs> Tom Brady didn't Peter. need to put on a uniform for last night's preseason game against the Giants because he had already won off the field earlier in the day. Yes, if you haven't heard by now, the judge said the league went too far in punishing the Patriots quarterback and wiped out his four-game suspension completely. People were totally shocked by this. <laughs> Duke is in. I was shocked. I think everybody was shocked. Yeah. This judge is, uh, everybody in the legal the community, a lot of people in the legal community uh, were shocked too. So, yeah. uh, historic day in the NFL, really. Maybe the greatest player the NFL has ever seen, Tom That's Brady, true. suspended for what the commissioner deemed cheating. But federal judge Richard Berman nullified that suspension. Situations on this drive, and Brady, he's got Nate Solder as tackle. Tom Brady will be back in the field next Thursday night when the defending Super Bowl champion Patriots play host to the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's because federal judge Richard Berman nullified NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell's four-game suspension for Brady's alleged role in what has been called deflate gate, deflating of footballs. The judge writing in part, because there was no notice of a four-game suspension in the circumstances presented here, Commissioner Roger Goodell may be said to have dispensed his own brand of industrial justice. Shortly after this ruling, we caught up with attorney Earl Ward, who has tried multiple cases in front of Judge Berman and got his reaction. Does this surprise you? This surprises me, and I think it surprises the uh, entire legal community. It's very rare for a judge to upset an arbitrator's decision. The NFL Players Association also issued a statement shortly after the ruling saying, this decision should prove once and for all that our collective bargaining agreement does not grant this commissioner the authority to be unfair, arbitrary, and misleading. Sean Landetta, who played 22 years in the NFL and won two Super Bowls with the Giants, says we cannot underestimate what this means for Brady and his legacy. There's no question if this thing is upheld where he does not have to take a suspension, uh, you know, there'll be no blemish. Dave Rothenberg, 98.7 ESPN radio talk show host, says even though Goodell is now 0 for his last five in federal court appeals cases, the league's 32 owners probably won't lose confidence in him. You know why? money. He makes a hand over fist amount for the owners. He made 44 million a couple years ago, 35 million a couple years uh, prior to that. He makes a ton of money. The owners make a ton of money. So the bottom line is all about the green and that continues to roll in. He'll continue to be employed. And finally, the Patriots official Twitter account tweeting this picture of Brady out shortly after the ruling and also changing their avatar as well. <laughs> yes. I can't. Uh, Twitter I was I can't. all over that wow. yesterday. I there cannot. Was, there, were, there were some funny uh, memes on Twitter yesterday. Oh, I did. Uh, Roger Goodell has officially announced the NFL will appeal. So this is not over. To be continued. And, you know, from a journalistic standpoint, <laughs> and I know this is the cover of the post today. It's, it's pretty funny. From a journalistic standpoint, this case is so interesting. The back and I'll forth. I'll tweet it. Uh, you know, um, between members of the media and where everybody got their information from a legal standpoint, it's so interesting. From a sports perspective, it is beyond interesting. I mean, this is the cover of the post today. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Full, full, full disclosure. I am a huge Steeler fan. I've been a Steeler fan right. since since I was born. It's the last 14 years. I hope. <laughs> it's about 31 years. I. <laughs> Honestly, I hope they win a, a thousand to nothing next week, and this would be a huge victory for Pittsburgh to go in there and scuttle this 
this party. You know, everyone says, oh, you know, all the Patriots fans say, oh, we were so afraid that the NFL was going to, you know, ruin our championship celebration. We're unveiling the banner next week and blah, blah, blah. Nothing would be sweeter than to see Pittsburgh go up there and just kick some butt. You know, there are, uh, there's going to be classes taught on this. There already is one by Mike McCann, the uh, sports lawyer that is everywhere. I mean, it is so fascinating. It's fascinating from a public relations mm -hmm. standpoint, too. Uh, you know, Patriots, I think, hand mishandled it, you know. Well, apparently not. not well, in the, no, no, the the biggest winner in all this, Jeffrey Kessler. I mean, the, the Brady's lawyer, yeah. lawyer yeah. has beat the NFL routinely in federal should, court. Maybe he should be running the NFL. Anyway, all right, thanks, Duke. Thanks, Duster. Go Steelers. Coming up, a big crowd <laughs> gathered at the Toys R Us in Times Square last night, all to be the first to get toys from the new Star Wars movie. We'll show you what all the fuss is about. Be right back. Dunkin' Donuts Dark Roast Coffee is deliciously roasted for a bold start and smooth finish. For a limited time, DD Perks members can get any size Dark Roast Coffee for 99 cents. DD Perks, that's loyalty. America runs on Dunkin'. We've helped a lot of people get into the Honda they've been searching for. <laughs> nice wheels. Right back at you. Aw, you guys. There's not much time left. The Honda Summer Clearance event ends soon. There's never been a better time to get into the new Honda you've had your eye on. Everyone happy? Yay! It's your last chance to find a great deal at the Honda Summer Clearance event. The Jennifer Convertible's Labor Day sale ends Monday, so don't wait another minute. Hurry in and save up to 50% store-wide on our exceptional selection. Plus, finance interest-free for 36 months. The fact is, Jennifer goes well beyond sofa beds, and right now, you'll find great style and big savings on furniture for every room. Save up to 50% store-wide, and you can finance interest-free for 36 months. Just hurry. The Jennifer Convertible's Labor Day sale ends Monday. Don't miss it. Switch now, New York, and get installed as early as today. Mom switched. We switched. I switched to Time Warner Cable and knew exactly when they were coming, thanks to their one-hour appointment window. For $89.99 a month, you'll get 100 meg internet, hundreds of HD channels, and unlimited calling to the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, Mexico, China, and India. And for a limited time, you could get a $300 reward card, plus TV equipment and Epics included. Get installed for free as early as today. Call 1-800-341-9716. A wave of game day excitement is rolling into Dunkin'. Taste the new Tailgater breakfast sandwich stacked with smoked sausage, fire roasted peppers and onions. America runs on Dunkin'. Will you be driving this Labor Day weekend? Well, it's good news if you are because gas prices are at their lowest in 11 years. AAA says nationally a gallon of unleaded is about $2.44 on average. That's the lowest it's been during a Labor Day holiday. If you go over, since, since uh, 2004, if you go over to Jersey, you're paying like $1.95 for That's regular. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. In the city, obviously, it's more expensive. It's about two seventy eight a gallon, but everything is more expensive here. That's $1 cheaper, though, than it was this time last year. All right, Robert has never seen Star Wars and has no interest in seeing Star Wars. That said, it's Force Friday. It is. Do you know this is a stormtrooper? And then that, and that's Darth Vader, right? Do you know what Darth Vader is all about? No. Do you know whose father he is? Uh, Luke Skywalker? Yeah, do you know who Okay, yes. Now do you know who Luke was? No. Okay. Because he's never seen the movie again and has no interest in it. So, these are toys from the new Star Wars movie and they are now whoa, Excuse they're me. now on sale um this, we have this, we have this drone looking thing. What's this? That's what's this the called? Millennium Falcon. That's a spaceship. So I was flying it earlier, but we ran out of battery. Um, we actually just we took the battery out because we were concerned that we were going to have our heads chopped off by the thing. <laughs> um, but any, a lot of diehard fans waited in line last night. There are major major fans for this movie, um, and these 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 toys. 
um, they, the toys went on sale last night at midnight at the Toys R Us in Times Square, so you had tons of people out there. Star Wars The Force Awakens doesn't open until December. Fans are very anxious about whatever they can get from the movie. Listen. They're so secretive with the movie that it's going to be the first peak for a lot of it. We grew up with it as kids, and then to see them be into it like, like I was when I was a little kid. My dad really got me into it when I was young. Like, he showed me all the movies as soon as I was old enough. When I was young. Okay, old man. Walmart, Target, the Disney Store, Toys R Us, and Amazon are among the retailers selling these toys, and they are flying off the shelves. Top stories when we come back. Yes, plus could, this could be a wonderful weekend for shopaholics. Interestingly, details when we come back. Okay, fries and a burger. Would you like to mattress size your order? Did you say mattress size? Mm -hmm. Does it feel like everybody's trying to sell mattresses these days? We know mattresses inside and out. Sleepies, the only mattress professionals. Good Day, brought to you by Toyota. The annual clearance event is going on now. Let's go places. You can get 0% APR financing during our annual clearance event. Seriously? Seriously. 0% APR through September 8th. Seriously? Seriously. Only happens once a year. Seriously? 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 Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> get 0% APR for 60 months on all new 2015 Toyota sedans. And in honor of Labor Day, Toyota will double your down payment up to $500. She's all yours. Seriously? Seriously. Toyota, let's go places. What makes a Subway footlong the biggest, bestest sandwich? You do. Because it's all about your choice. Of freshly baked bread, tender meats, melty cheeses, and everything in between. The handcrafted Subway footlong. It's got your name all over it. If you struggle with type 2 diabetes, you're certainly not alone. Fortunately, many have found a different kind of medicine that lowers blood sugar. Imagine what it would be like to love your numbers. Discover Once Daily Invokana. It's the number one prescribed in the newest class of medicines that work with the kidneys to lower A1C. Invokana is used along with diet and exercise to significantly lower blood sugar in adults with type 2 diabetes. It's a once daily pill that works around the clock. Here's how. The kidneys allow sugar to be absorbed back into the body. Invokana reduces the amount of sugar allowed back in and sends some sugar out through the process of urination. And while it's not for weight loss, it may help you lose weight. Invokana can cause important side effects, including dehydration, which may cause you to feel dizzy, faint, lightheaded, or weak, especially when you stand up. Other side effects may include kidney problems, genital yeast infections, urinary tract infections, changes in urination, high potassium in the blood, or increases in cholesterol. Do not take Invokana if you have severe kidney problems or are on dialysis. Stop taking and call your doctor right away if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, or difficulty breathing or swallowing. Tell your doctor about any medical conditions, medications you are taking, and if you have kidney or liver problems. Using Invokana with the sulfonylurea or insulin may increase risk of low blood sugar. It's time. Lower your blood sugar with Invokana. Imagine loving your numbers. There's only one Invokana. Ask your doctor about it by name. From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day Wake Up. Robert, you're not less of a person because you haven't seen Star Wars, nor do you want to. Well, many of my coworkers make me feel that way. Well, I can understand that, too. We're finally getting <laughs> some relief from the brutal heat. Highs will only reach the low 80s today. We'll be humid, though. Tomorrow, though, looks absolutely perfect. Mike has the extended forecast coming up. A really strange moment at the U.S. Open last night when a drone crashed into the stands. A New York City school teacher has been arrested in connection with this really bizarre case. And new concerns about the topless painted ladies in Times Square, or maybe just some, uh, I don't know, validation of, of concerns that many people had. Uh, one of these painted ladies, Desnudas, has been busted for prostitution and drug sales. She and her handler accused of trying to sell sex and drugs to an undercover cop. 
And if you love shopping, you will have a great weekend because many retailers are offering discounts that rival Black Friday. Who knew? All right, good morning, everybody. I'm Juliette Huddy. And I'm Robert Moses. I cannot wait to get my hands on those new Star Wars toys. I bet you can. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, luckily, I'm going to be doing the story on the Star Wars today. You'll be at Electric Zoo. Will you, will you, will you pick me up? Sure, why not? One? Yeah, absolutely. They're probably sold off the shelves though at this point. Yeah. Those, I mean, those are really cool toys though. I they mean, are. I'm, I'm not less of a person for not seeing Star Wars, am I? I am a man. Because, 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 because <laughs> Juliet has given me grief. Joel Morton, our producer, yeah. is endlessly giving me grief, by the yeah. way. I still owe Joel. He, he lent me he lent me his movies. Yeah, and you didn't even... And I haven't, I haven't watched them yet, and I need to return them. Joel, and about every, I bet, he, I bet every, he destroyed them. Every fourth day, he's like, hey, I, I kind of want those movies back. Oh. So I will, I will bring those in with interest, but... <laughs> with interest. Joel says, move along now. Yeah, Nothing and deport that anymore. man. Deport him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning. Uh, let's show you what was happening out there this morning. It's another mild start. Tips actually aren't so bad. We've got 77 Central Park, 76 in Newark, and 75 in Bridgeport. Wind's coming in from the northeast, and it's not a huge amount of wind, but it's enough. Coming in at around 6 to 12 uh, miles per hour. Brings in some of that cooler air. It's still just now starting to take hold here. It hasn't really happened just yet, but trust me, there is cooler air up to the north, and that will be dropping your temperatures down quite a bit here. Uh, not only today, but for a few days here. So our high temp only manages 82 degrees this afternoon. Yes, there's a chance that you could see an isolated shower, mainly up the uh, Hudson Valley, but I don't think much will be happening out there, so don't get too worked up over it. Uh, 81 is your high tomorrow with sunny skies throughout. No rain for anyone. 85 on Sunday and 88 for you on Monday. Labor Day itself looks fantastic. Pretty warm. All right, now let's get over to Inez Rosales, see if things are picking up on the roads and uh, what's also happening with the rails. Good morning, Inez. Good morning, Mike. Well, a lot of problems this morning. Let's start off with New Jersey. 78 westbound. Expect delays as you head towards exit 18. There's an accident there blocking a lane. Your Long Island commute's looking pretty good this morning. No major issues on the LIE, Southern State or Northern State Parkway. We do have a problem on the Cross Bronx, though. Live pictures from Sky Fox HD. This is affecting the George Washington Bridge on the eastbound side of the Cross Bronx. They pushed everything, all the activity off to the shoulder involved that car carrier. This is by White Plains Road eastbound. They had lanes closed intermittently, but now they're letting traffic through. The off-ramp is blocked, but this is affecting the George Washington Bridge. Wait, by the way, westbound, you do have some rubbernecking delays because of that, so residual, residual delay left. Let's go back to our cameras and tell you what else we have going on, actually. Uh, let's take a look outside at the Staten Island Expressway. Construction wrapped up here by Victory Boulevard. All lanes open, traffic moving fine. Now let's talk about the GWB. So I told you about that Cross Bronx accident, which affected the GWB upper level. Lower level, it's slow, but it's moving better compared to the upper level. It's a 20-minute delay as you head towards the upper level. Lower level, 15 minutes. If you want to use the Lincoln Tunnel, that's about 10 to 15. Inbound, the Holland Tunnel, 5 to 10. As far as the trains, everything want it running on or close to schedule. Robert, Juliet, Robert, you're going to, you're going to cover Electric Zoo? Yeah. I'm going later. Save me a spot. It gets a little crowded, I heard. You're actually going to go to the, the Electric Zoo thing? Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Juliet's like, uh oh. <laughs> I don't get I'm it. I'm going at 3 o'clock. It's, it's, not, the it's not for me, but uh, you can <laughs> you can have my spot. <laughs> it's all <laughs> instance, yes. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Inez. It's 6.34. Police say they have made an arrest in connection with the drone crash in the stands of the U.S. Open last night. We're also learning the suspect is a city school teacher. Teresa Priolo, live now at Flushing Meadows with more. Teresa, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Robert and Juliet. Good morning, everyone. Let me give you just a little bit of a lay of the land, and we'll show you the video of the drone crashing into the stadium. Of course, behind me is Arthur Ashe Stadium. Uh, that's probably the most recognizable stadium here at the complex. But this actually happened at the Louis Armstrong Stadium, which is right off to the side of the Arthur Ashe Stadium. According to police and tennis officials, this drone was flying east, and it crashed into the southwest corner of the stadium last night. Let's take you back to that match and show you this video. This is from ESPN. Um, this happened late in the match, between Flavia Panetta and Monica Nicolescu. Uh, the drone was seen and heard first flying over the grandstand before it crashed into Louis Armstrong Stadium. It crashed into empty seats along the baseline, about 40 feet above the court level. Uh, this sighting, though, as you might imagine, distracted the players. They not only saw it come in, but they also heard the commotion, and then they heard it crash. It shook them. Uh, take a listen to some of the play-by-play -play on this, and then you can also hear one of the players uh, in this clip. Take a listen. It seemed as if that fell from somewhere. A bit of a distraction for Panetta. 
I think both players heard it. They... Well, I want the security to well, take we a have look at a... what it was because I didn't see it. It was a drone. We have a moment here where we're not entirely certain as to what it is that landed in the stands, whether it fell from above, whether it's something that's been left behind, if it's just for security. Just a projectile or a drone like device. Just no real understanding of what it is just net. Yeah. And nobody understood why exactly it was there to begin with. Uh, Panetta did say that she was trying to keep playing and trying to stay focused, but she was very, very concerned because her first reaction was that this might, in fact, be a bomb in the age that we live in. That's just sort of where your mind goes. So the NYPD uh, did their best work, and they tell us that they arrested a man by the name of Daniel Verlay, a 26-year-old employee of the Department of Education. Uh, according to his LinkedIn and Facebook page, he is a photography teacher, uh, a photography enthusiast, rather, Robert and Juliet, but we don't actually know if he is a photography teacher uh, within the city school system. Again, he was arrested, charged with things like reckless endangerment and also operating a drone where he shouldn't have been. Uh, again, no one was injured, no one hurt in this at all, uh, but it did certainly shake people to their core. That's the latest from Flushing Meadows right outside the uh, tennis stadium this morning. Back to both of you in the studio. Yeah, I mean, one of the, thanks very much, Teresa. One Thank of the you. players said they thought it might be a bomb, you know, a, a, a drone with a bomb. I mean, it's understandable. Okay, crazy story. Moving on now, the NYPD says that a topless painted lady, AKA Desnudas, and her handler, or Desnuda, and her handler tried to sell sex and drugs to an undercover cop, and now both are facing several charges. Yes, the arrests are creating new concern about these disnudas. Fox 5's Liz Dollum live in Times Square this morning. Liz, good morning to you. Good morning to you, Robert and Juliet. These undercover NYPD officers started having a conversation with this topless painted lady over on 42nd and 7th Avenue, and that's when they quickly learned she was offering up much more than just a picture for tips. One of the painted ladies from Times Square was arrested Wednesday night. Destiny Romero is accused of selling drugs and offering to perform oral sex to undercover police officers. The 20-year-old introduced the cops to her handler, Jason Perez, who promised to meet them at the Lexington Hotel. There, the couple sold the officers cocaine, molly pills, and Romero agreed to perform oral sex. The two were arrested. Romero was charged with three counts of prostitution and drug possession. 22-year-old Perez is accused of promoting prostitution and criminal possession of a controlled substance, among other charges. The painted ladies have been a controversial topic of discussion in Times Square, reminding many of its once seedy past. Police Commissioner Bratton suggested tearing up the plaza to stop the activity, but Mayor de Blasio created a special task force to figure out how to get the women out. But they aren't breaking the law. Toplessness is allowed in New York. The mayor had this to say last month. You will see changes, some of them starting quite soon. De Blasio created this task force just a couple of weeks ago, but it's still unclear exactly what it's doing to fix the problem. Live in Times Square, I'm Liz Dollum, Robert and Juliet, back over to you. I guess maybe he's sending undercover <laughs> the cops in there. Who knows? All right. Thanks very Thanks, much, Liz. Liz. Fox means business. Joining us now from the Fox Business Network is Lauren Simonetti. And Lauren, first of all, good morning. <laughs> good morning. So I didn't realize that Labor Day weekend actually rivals Black Friday when it comes to sales. Me neither. But hit up the mall because there are some great deals to be had this weekend. USA Today put out a couple of them. Appliances. Anything you need, a dishwasher, whatever, hit Best Buy, Sears, Home Depot, you can get deals about 40% off. Then when it comes to the, the summer stuff, as in the patio sets, the cabanas, the grills, you can find deals of 50% off. And summer clothing, come on, it's 70% off. Gap, mm -hmm. Old Navy, Hollister, check out all of those stores. Quickly, what you do not want to buy this weekend if you do go shopping, Laptops, uh, you know, you probably saw the deals already for back to school. Uh, there's the big Apple event next next week, so you might want to hold off on certain electronics like big screen televisions as well. And also don't buy fall clothing. It'll go on sale later. Yeah, absolutely. I, I was on revolve.com yesterday. Oh. Yeah, 70% off of the summer clothes, and there are a lot of things you can yeah. still wear until mm -hmm. the uh, fall. All right, thanks very much, Lauren. Enjoy. Good to see you. Okay. Have thanks. a great weekend. And you can catch Lauren on the Fox Business Network. If you're not sure where to find Fox Business in your area, it's very easy. Just go to foxbusiness.com slash. Do it. Channel Finder. There you go. <laughs> Mike is here with a quick check <laughs> of the weather. Part. <laughs> got really I got to have guest hosts every once in a while. She, she, she just likes to abuse a little bit. Grandma and Grandpa over there. <laughs> you guys can't do the electric zoo? 
Really? No. I, I'm just, I'm not so into it. I'm not no. into it at no, all. We got it going, huh? No, so remember I'm like, we're older than 21? Yeah, no. 21? No excuse, no excuse. <laughs> Listen, you want to go like one direction or whatever. So exactly. Stop. You there see. You go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Harry. We got the. <laughs> I love Harry. I love him, and he got injured. Poor uh, thing. Oh, poor guy. Oh, saw that. By a Red Bull. Oh boy. Philly fan. Hey, we've typical. got the Labor Day weekend here upon us here, and a perfect stretch of weather coming at us. Look at this. Nothing but sunshine out there, and uh, tomorrow we're going to have a uh, not as hot, not so humid day coming at you here. Lots of sunshine out there. Highs in the low 80s. Beach day for you Sunday with highs in the mid 80s, and it's going to heat up again for you on Labor Day. It's Itself. Uh, high temps getting into the upper 80s at that time, but uh, rain, not a problem this holiday. All right, let's bring in Inez right now. And yes, you were supposed to come, that's right, but you're filling in for Nick. I'm filling in I for know. Nick today, but I'll go tomorrow. Okay, well, you'll probably see Mike tomorrow. Let's talk about the commute because the Cross Bronx got to go to work and it's jammed. Traffic backed up here to the Jersey side. Accident had all lanes closed here by White Plains Road. Now it's just closing the off ramp, but you're stuck with that traffic jam. If you're taking the trains, Long Island Railroad, Metro North, New Jersey Transit, and the PATH trains are doing good, they will have early getaway service if you're leaving town early. Let's go to sports with Duke. Duke. All right, Inez, coming up in sports. Big upset last night at the U.S. Open. Actually, this is pretty shocking to tell you the truth. Caroline Wozniacki out at the Open. And we have plenty more in entertainment news. Anne Hathaway has some very interesting to thing, things to say about ageism in Hollywood. Yes, you know, she's not that popular with some of her colleagues. Mm. But what's interesting, we'll, we'll talk about it coming up. Anne is next. Fox Means Business, brought to you by Municipal Credit Union. Strong, trusted, growing. Need a little extra help with family expenses or bill consolidation? What about home improvement projects? Do you want new appliances? Or furniture? How about your education and tuition needs? If so, MCU Personal Loans offer a simple solution. Let Municipal Credit Union help you today. Call 1-800-LOAN-MCU or visit nymcu.org to apply. Municipal Credit Union. Strong. Trusted. Growing. A wave of game day excitement is rolling into Dunkin'. Taste the new Tailgater breakfast sandwich stacked with smoked sausage, fire-roasted peppers and onions. America runs on Dunkin'. You decided to downsize your home. Then I said the contract should include an inspection, which revealed you weren't alone. Let a REMAX agent guide you. REMAX, dream with your eyes open. Enamel is your teeth's first line of defense, but daily eating and drinking can make it weak. Try Colgate Enamel Health. It replenishes weak spots with natural calcium to strengthen enamel four times better. Colgate Enamel Health, stronger, healthy enamel. Hurry into the Hyundai Labor Day sales event and take advantage of the best deals of the season on all your favorite Hyundais, including the award-winning Sonata with available blind spot detection, smart cruise control, and lane departure warning. Yours for an incredibly low $139 a month lease. And every Hyundai comes backed by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. The best deals with the best warranty. Don't wait. Visit your local Hyundai dealer today. The Hyundai Labor Day sales event ends September 7th. Sleepy's Holiday Door Busters are the first six hours, Friday through Monday. Plus, deals continue all day with up to half off nearly every mattress in the store and free delivery on everything above $5.99. Sleepy's, the only mattress professionals. See world-class reporting come to life. Read the news. Hear the news. Hear from the people who make the news. Stroll down the runway. Admire some crocodiles. Then analyze the bulls and the bears. Check the markets. Move the markets. Leave your mark on the markets with Evernote. From breaking stories to today's top stories, ambition doesn't take a vacation. So download the Wall Street Journal app today to enjoy a four-week free trial this summer. The Beach and Boating Report is brought to you by the Wall Street Journal. Download the app today for a four-week free trial. 6.45 on a Friday morning. Let's check the headlines. A shootout with police in Brooklyn has left one man in the hospital. Happened about one this morning in Bushwick. The officers were not hurt. A Coast Guard auxiliary plane crash lands in a New Jersey soccer field, leaving two people in the plane seriously hurt. The Cessna was patrolling the Hudson River yesterday when the pilot started reporting engine trouble. 
And police have arrested a New York City school teacher in connection with a drone crash during last night's U.S. Open. 26-year-old Daniel Verley was charged on several counts, including reckless operation of a drone. All right. And speaking of the U.S. Open, let's bring in Duke Stiglione with sports. Believe it or not. There was other sports yesterday in the news mm -hmm. other than Deflategate. Big upset at the U.S. Open 2014. The runner-up Caroline Wozniacki was stunned by 149th ranked Petra Setskovska of the Czech Republic. Wozniacki was one point away from winning four times, but her opponent came up with a winner to extend the match. Wozniacki failed to convert any of those four match points and lost 6-4. 5776 Setskovska had not won a tour level main draw match all season until this week. As we told you earlier in this newscast, some big news regarding Patriots quarterback Tom Brady. It's maybe the biggest win of his career. Yes, he was not on the field last night when his team played the Giants in a preseason game. We'll get to the highlights of that game, but he already scored. As I said, I mean, this, you can't underestimate how big a deal this was for his legacy. A federal judge, Richard Berman, tossed his four game suspension in the Deflate Gate scandal, nullified it. That means Tom Brady will be under center unless he's at a shotgun next week uh, mm -hmm. when the Patriots play the Steelers. Ba Robert Moe's Steelers Thursday night. <laughs> the judge said the NFL commissioner went too far with Brady's punishment. The NFL has already appealed the ruling. All right, several reports say Jason Pierre-Paul returning to the Giants sometime next week to meet with the team. It will be the first time the team will be able to examine his injuries from a 4th of July fireworks accident in which he lost his right index finger. Still has signed his franchise tender deal with the team, and if Pierre-Paul doesn't report by week one, he could risk losing some of his salary. It just, to me, it's mind-blowing that mm. he hasn't showed up yet. Let the team doctors take a look at him. All right. Meanwhile, the Giants up in Foxborough last night, and this was a barn burner. Uh, you got to love that fourth preseason game. Bob Kraft, Patriots owner. Bill Belichick, Patriots head coach. You think they're talking about, you know, what are they saying? Man, Robert Just Moses like would have been much happier if Jimmy Garofalo was a starting quarterback. How did this happen? The Steelers. <laughs> this is crazy. Who we got thought? lucky on this one. Hey, Bill, we got lucky on this one. Yeah, you forgot that right. Hey, if the, if the Steelers can beat Brady, Bob. I really don't care what happens the rest of the season. Woo. I really don't. <laughs> Dodged another one. Uh, <laughs> wow, we can get away with pretty much anything in this team. <laughs> Let's start taping the practices again, Bill. What do you think? <laughs> They're not even paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this has gone too far. I'll just tell you, seven field goals decided it. Yes, as I said, it was a barn burner. 12-9, your final score. As for the Jets, got a I little heard, carried away there. It's I've Friday heard Tom before and Giselle Labor. are having problems. What have you heard? <laughs> oh, that'll work out for Tom Brady. You know where everything does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> As for the Jets, their final preseason game against the Eagles over at MetLife Stadium. This one got away from me. First quarter, uh, we go backup quarterback Matt Flynn connects with Chris Owasu. Uh, nice 18 yard scoring uh, pass to cap off an eight play 54 yard drive. 7 0 Jets. End of the second quarter, it's Flynn again dumping off uh, this one to Zach Stacy. Five yard touchdown pass, making it 14 3. Jets going to win 24. For younger models. <laughs> you know, Bill, you know, Bill, we lost some draft picks here. Let's see if we can get the draft picks back. <laughs> Why right, wouldn't you? We gotta go. We're getting, uh, you know? getting in trouble. <laughs> All right, Mike. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I can't with this thing. You're, you're kind of killing Duke. Yeah. You can't even get through this. Robert, I've never seen so cast. much emotion. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you guys uh, murdered my dad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mike, I think that's sports cast got away from me. Yeah, you think? <laughs> 77. <laughs> Let's get you a little uh, weather action, show you what's happening as you head out the door. Quiet outside, 75 in Bridgeport, 77 for you, Central Park. We do have a uh, clearing sky around the tri-state at this time. However, this front in the area still could disturb the atmosphere and kick up a quick shower later on this afternoon. Most of that would be up the lower Hudson Valley, but it doesn't look like too much will be happening out there today. So uh, if you're heading out to the beach, this is what it looks like uh, as far as your conditions go or boating. Northeast winds coming through at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. That's actually going to get the waters pretty choppy. Waves up to around 3 to 4 feet. Water temps running between 74 and 78 degrees, and the rip current risk is high. So keep that in mind. If anyone's out there swimming, especially the little ones, can get caught in the rip currents. You don't want that to happen, especially on a holiday weekend. It looks like the, uh, the life guidance service is back and down as we head into the holiday weekend, so be very careful out there. Uh, Temp-wise, we make it up to a high of 82 degrees later on this afternoon. Only a few stray showers are possible.
possible. Most of that to the north of the uh, city. Tomorrow you'll see sunny skies with a high of 81, 85 for you on Sunday, and then on Memorial or Labor Day itself, we've got a high of 88 degrees coming at you here. Sunny and warm, and the humidity comes back next week. The interactive radar it's on the Fox 5 NY Weather app, Apple iTunes Store, Google Play Store. It's there for you to download for free and put it to work immediately. We'll be right back. The Fox 5 NY Weather App, brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. This fall at Dunkin' Donuts, get lost in pumpkin. Pick up your favorite pumpkin-flavored beverages and baked treats like the new pumpkin cheesecake square while they're still here. America runs on Dunkin'. Stay on that one. Sometimes it's hard to catch all your favorite shows. You're killing me, Dad. Give me that, please. With Time Warner Cable's enhanced DVR, you can. Record up to six shows at the same time. Plus, you can record in one room and watch in another. So you can enjoy TV on your schedule. Welcome to the future. Yes, welcome. Get over 200 HD channels, internet, and unlimited calling for $89.99 a month. Time Warner Cable. It's Macy's Labor Day Mattress Sale. Get our lowest prices of the season on mattresses from Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, Tempur-Pedic, iComfort, and more. Get a Sealy Firm Queen Mattress for $147, a Serta Perfect Sleeper Queen Set for $297, or a Sealy Posturepedic Queen Set for $397. Plus, get special financing on a mattress purchase of $499 or more on your Macy's card. Macy's Labor Day Mattress Sale. Layover, 24 hours. Hello, Reykjavik. Oh, so that's how you spell it. What are you looking at? Oh, cool. Hungry. Fish anyone? Hello, seventh waterfall of the day. Hello, duck boat. Hello, sheep. Oh, right, itchy Icelandic sweaters. And no foreign transaction fees. Sweet. One last look. Ah, triple points, and we're off. What's next? Wherever the journey takes you, carry American Express Gold. It's more than a card. It's the gear that gets it done. My name is Amanda, and I smoked while I was pregnant. My baby was born two months early and weighed only three pounds. This is the view I had of her in the NICU. My tip to you is speak into the opening so your baby can hear you better. You can quit. Talk with your doctor. For more help, call 1-866-NY-QUITS. Good morning, what can I get for you? A medium hot coffee, cream and two sugars, please. Medium hot coffee, cream, two sugar, sounds good. At Dunkin', we make your coffee just the way you like it. If not, we'll make it again on the spot. See you tomorrow. That's the DD commitment. America runs on Dunkin'. We're back. If you're heading into the Bronx, traffic jam this morning because of an accident on the Cross Bronx had all lanes closed eastbound by White Plains Road. Now it's just the off ramp, but the damage has been done. Also, we have some delays on the westbound side. The GWB was affected with this accident, and now there's another accident on the upper level. So those two issues leaving delays on the upper level, 45 minutes inbound. If you want to take the lower level, that's a 20 minute delay approaching the trolls, moving fine crossing the bridge. Lincoln Tunnel, 30 minutes. Holland, about a 10 to 15 minute delay. Robert and Juliet, back to you. Thanks, I. Thanks, Inez. Look who's here. Hi. Hi. Good Hi. morning. So we've been covering no, not this you, ben. Kelly Rutherford custody battle for a while. And now she was in court yesterday in Monaco to continue her fight for the custody of her two kids. The former Gossip Girl actress was reportedly smiling as she left the court, but it's unclear what, if any, ruling was made. Mm. In 2012, a California court sent her two kids to live in Monaco with her ex-husband while he worked out problems with his U.S. visa. The kids, however, were born here. She's had to travel to Monaco many, many times in order to see them. And she recently refused to send them back after they spent the summer here in New York until a New York City court ordered she return the children to Europe. Now Kelly has been posting Instagram pictures of better times with her kids mm. and more recently of all their stuffed animals with the children noticeably absent. That's a very sad picture. Oh, beautiful home. And at the ripe old age of 32, Anne Hathaway says younger actresses are getting parts she wanted. She talked about this to Glamour UK. I can imagine that some Older actresses will be annoyed by these comments. Yep. However, she did admit that she can't complain about it because, quote, I benefited from it. When I was in my early 20s, parts would be written for women in their 50s, and I would get them. And now I'm in my early 30s, and I'm like, why did that 24-year-old get that part? 
She's still getting plenty of roles, however. She has a new movie coming out later this month with Robert De Niro called The Intern, where he plays her intern. I actually really want to see that. And next year, she'll be back as the White Queen in the Alice in Wonderland sequel. That dress there is gorgeous. It is. Mm. And Black Sabbath is going out yeah. on their farewell ah. tour. <laughs> The end tour begins on January 20th in Omaha, and they finish their North American leg on February 25th with their final gig here in New York at MSG. Frontman Ozzy Osbourne will be playing with fellow original guitarists and bassists, but it's unclear who will be playing drums since the original drummer, Bill Ward, has been estranged from the band. Well. But they say this really is the farewell tour. I, I, I mean, I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's very cool. Thank you very much, Thanks. Anna. Thanks, Anna. All right, well, that's it for us. Ben Robert, need someone I think you should be. Uh, I think you should be watching Star Wars this weekend. Uh, I doubt it. Ben and Carrie are coming up. <sighs> By the way, I apologize for my Patriots hatred. No, <laughs> actually, don't apologize. Not. It's okay. Brady's <laughs> a cheater. <laughs> Good day. Brought to you by your Tri-State Ford dealers. For great deals, visit tristateford.com. Why would I go with boring when Bassett gives me great colorful options, all customized to match my style? Bassett's Labor Day sale ends Monday. Hurry in and save 25% store-wide. There's nothing boring about Bassett. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services recently asked patients to rate the quality of over 3,500 hospitals. Fewer than 10% received five stars. Among them was Cancer Treatment Centers of America in Philadelphia. Cancercenter.com slash Eastern. Old-fashioned vitamins are out. Vitafusion for Women is in. Support for energy metabolism and strong bones is always in style. It's essential nutrition women need infused with natural flavors. That's Vitafusion. It's going to be a good day with Vitafusion Women's. The Hyundai Labor Day sales event is here, and it's your last chance of the season to get an amazing deal on an amazing Hyundai. Drive home in the award-winning Elantra with available hands-free phone integration, 7-inch high-res color navigation system, and rear-view camera. All for an unbelievably low $119 a month lease. And every Hyundai comes backed by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. The best deals and the best warranty. Visit your Hyundai dealer today because this event and these deals end September 7th. Worried about high interest rates, fees, and penalties? Make your worries disappear with a Visa card from MCU. With low interest rates and no penalty rate increases for a late payment, you can finally go to that nice restaurant, buy her that special gift, and afford those airline tickets. Great rates, no worries. The worry-free Visa card from MCU. Apply today. Municipal Credit Union. Strong. Trusted. Growing. You dreamt of a condo with a view. But then I showed you a suburb school, and the view of your daughter's future made a house look really cool. Let a Remax agent guide you. Remax, dream with your eyes open. Why would I go with boring when Bassett gives me great colorful options, all customized to match my style? Bassett's Labor Day sale ends Monday. Hurry in and save 25% store wide. There's nothing boring about Bassett. Next team Z. We're celebrating the end of the summer with huge stars like this guy whose name we can't remember. Kidding! It's our end of the summer bash. Weeknights at 6:30 on Fox 5. From Fox 5 News, this is Good Day New York. Good Day New York, Friday morning. September 4th, last Friday of the summer. I'm Ben Sivano. I can't believe it. I'm yeah. Carrie Drew. Greg and Rosanna both off this morning. Thanks so much for being with us. I, I kick off this holiday weekend. Yeah. Not as hot to end the week. There's a slight chance for shower this afternoon, but the holiday weekend looking great. Mike Woods has all the details. A drone comes crashing down at the U.S. Open. Startling fans and players this happened in Louis Armstrong Stadium last night. Now a school teacher who was flying that drone is under arrest. A Coast Guard plane crash-landed at a soccer field in New Jersey.